You're born inside a cramped egg sac with dozens of siblings. No space, no peace, and one rule. Get out or get eaten. Welcome to life as a jumping spider. Your first instinct? Climb. Doesn't matter why. Just go. You shoot silk from your butt and let the wind take you, ballooning into the unknown. It's chaotic, terrifying, and probably your best chance at not being lunch by your own family. You land in the real world, full of ants that want to bite, birds that want to swallow, and spiders that see you as pre-breakfast. But here's your edge. You jump. You don't build webs and wait. You hunt. You stalk your prey like a tiny ninja, calculate the perfect angle, then leap. You miss a lot at first, face plant into leaves, bounce off branches, but eventually you get it. Your eyes are insane. You've got eight of them, with better depth perception than most people. Downside? You can see every predator in Ultra HD. Every rustle could mean death, but every shadow could also be lunch. Weeks pass. You've got the moves now. You pounce with precision, land like a pro, and chase prey twice your size just because you can. You don't have friends, you don't need them. You're fast, lethal, and surprisingly kind of cute. Then one day, it hits. Mating season. And suddenly your tiny spider brain decides breakdancing in front of a massive female is a great idea. If she's into it, great. If not, she might eat you. You risk it anyway, because passing on your genes is the only thing stronger than survival. And if you're lucky, you mate, you run, you survive. Until one day your jump's a little slower, your eye's not as sharp, you see a bird shadow too late, game over. But for a few wild, glorious weeks, you lived like a ninja, hunted like a beast, and danced for love like a legend. Not bad for something the size of a fingernail.